Jody, I've got a question for both you and Pierre, and I'm going to try to cater it to the two of you. You were a guy who definitely liked to talk the trash every now and then. I've, you know, watched HBO 24-7, like we all have. <laughs> Pierre, I'm sure, heard a lot of those conversations in between the glass, but <laughs> are there any exchanges that necessarily, uh, you know, stand out, a story you like to tell now that your playing days are over, just one that you laugh about looking back on, either of you? Well, well I'll start since uh, I got one fresh here, Pierre, and you brought up 24-7. <laughs> Yeah, my buddy Mike Rupp had a, had a mic on, and he went he went out of his way to call me irrelevant. And I was like, Rupper, what are you even using that word for? I mean, it's what you use on the ice. I mean, Pierre, you've heard way better words or simpler words than that. Uh, but it, it, it really took a, a life of its own. We had a good laugh of it after. And Rupper interviewed me a, a few years after that. And every time he asked me a question on the NHL network, I said, well, Rupper, you know, that I think that's irrelevant. That's an irrelevant question. And, I would, <laughs> and he called me after, and he loved it. So we, we have fun with that. And uh, just one of those moments that got, got a lot of legs. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Joe. Yeah, I grew up a huge Rangers fan, and at practice, you know, I was probably 15 when that came out. Everyone on the ice was calling each other irrelevant, so. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Rupper.